Exercise 2. Assessing, Classifying, and Taking Action. Almaz Habicho, 24 months old, screened for severe acute malnutrition, and the mid-upper arm circumference measurement was 10.4 centimeters, and she has no bilateral pitting edema of both feet. The weight of Almaz measured to be 6.8 kilograms. If a child fulfills the criteria for severe acute malnutrition, then we have to check first for any one of the danger signs and complications before deciding to admit to OTP. We have to also do an appetite test. If the child has one of the general danger signs or medical complications, or if they have failed the appetite test, he has to be sent immediately to therapeutic feeding unit. Now let's examine Almas to look for any one of the general danger signs. Does Almas have any history of abnormal body movement in the past or recently? Never. Almas doesn't have convulsions. Almas is alert, and she is not lethargic. What about vomiting? Not at all. Is she taking her feed well? Yes. Does Almaz show any danger signs? We didn't find any one of the general danger signs. Almaz doesn't have convulsions, she is conscious and not lethargic. She has no vomiting and she is feeding well. Therefore, Almaz doesn't have any one of the general danger signs. Now let's examine Almaz to look for any signs of complications. Let's count respiratory rate and check for chest indrawing. Did you see chest indrawing? Respiratory rate of Almaz is 36, which means she doesn't have fast breathing and she doesn't have chest indrawing. Therefore, Almaz doesn't have sign of pneumonia or severe pneumonia. Does she have diarrhea? She was having watery diarrhea three to four times per day for a month, but the diarrhea has stopped the last two weeks. Does she have blood in the stool? No. Does she have fever? No. The health extension worker measures the temperature and it is 37.2 degrees. Almas doesn't have any pneumonia or severe pneumonia, dysentery, fever, or low body temperature. Therefore, she doesn't have any signs of complications. Almas doesn't have any of the general danger signs and has no medical complications as well. What additional things do we need to decide to admit Almas to OTP? Appetite tests should be done first to decide the admission to the OTP after checking for general danger signs and complications. Appetite tests help to detect the presence of severe infections or metabolic abnormalities. Almaz is 6.8 kilograms. How much ready-to-use therapeutic food does she have to take to pass the appetite test? Please refer to the appetite test table on your reference page 16. Almaz is 6.8 kilograms and she should finish a quarter to half a sachet of ready-to-use therapeutic food to pass the appetite test. Almaz has finished half of the ready-to-use therapeutic food within 30 minutes. Therefore, she has passed the appetite test. Can Almaz be managed at the OTP in the health post? What is your decision? Almaz is more than 6 months old, her mid-upper arm circumference measurement is less than 11 centimeters, and has no general danger signs, pneumonia, dysentery, fever, or hyperthermia. She has also passed the appetite test. Therefore, she will be classified as uncomplicated severe acute malnutrition, the yellow shaded category, and she doesn't need any referral and can be managed at Health Post using the OTP protocol. Decision on Discharge Almaz was admitted to the OTP program five weeks ago. Her appetite has improved very well and she has no complaints during her stay in the OTP. Almaz was 6.8 kilograms when she first joined the program. She has gained weight progressively. Almaz has no cough, diarrhea, blood in the stool, and fever. 
The health extension worker has checked for pitting edema of both feet by applying thumb pressure on both feet for three seconds and she could not see the shallow print. The weight is taken and it is 7.8 kilograms. Respiratory rate is 40 per minute and temperature is 36.9 degrees Celsius. Almaz is provided with ready-to-use therapeutic foods and she eats them well. What action would you take on this visit? What is the target weight of Almaz? For severe acute malnutrition cases who are admitted without edema, they will be discharged when their patient reaches discharge target weight. Almaz's target weight is 7.8 kilograms, and she can be discharged today. Record the data on the OTP card, and the outcome section should be filled as cured. Enter the data to the OTP register as well. Council on Nutrition give discharge certificate and refer to the targeted supplementary feeding if available in the area. Anwar Kader, 14 months old child, was first admitted to the OTP program four weeks ago after he had developed bilateral pitting swelling on both his legs and feet. His mother, Fatuma, was dedicated and was bringing Anwar on a weekly basis to the OTP as per her appointments. The swelling on both his legs and feet disappeared on the second week. Today, Anwar has no cough, vomiting, or diarrhea, or blood in the stool. He is finishing the daily prescribed ready-to-use therapeutic food and starts to take additional food. He has no pitting edema of both feet, and also the weight is 12.8 kilograms. He has no danger signs. Respiratory rate is 32 per minute, and the temperature equals 37 degrees Celsius. Anwar was on the OTP for the last four weeks and today is his fifth week. The edema disappeared on the second week. What action will you take today? Children who are admitted to OTP based on edema, they have to be discharged if there is no edema for two consecutive visits, 14 days. The legs and feet edema of Anwar has cleared on the second week and it was followed for two consecutive weeks and is still absent. Therefore, we decided to discharge Anwar from OTP and he will be referred to targeted supplementary food program. Record the data on the OTP card and the outcome section should be filled as cured. Enter the data to the OTP register as well. Council on Nutrition, give discharge certificate and refer to the targeted supplementary feeding if available in the area.